Edwards here from Korg. I'm here with GAK.co.uk and we're having a look at the brand new Korg Minilog. Very exciting brand new analog synth we've got for you here. So what is it? Well, it's a four part, two oscillator analog synth. So um, what's great about it is it also has this little screen on it, which is also can be used as an oscilloscope. So we can see the waveform when we're playing. So for instance, if I've got this square wave here, I can see a true representation of the wave. Plus I've got wave shaping, so I can change the shape of that wave. And see that change on the screen. I've got three different waveforms to choose from. I've also got saw wave, which I can shape as well. To bring in some more complex harmonics and also a triangle wave. Plus I can create a pure square wave as well by cranking the resonance and the filter. So the key to this instrument really is these, are these different modes. So we've got poly mode, duo, unison, mono, chord, delay, arp and sidechain. So they all configure these oscillators in, and the four parts in a different way. So for instance in poly mode, we can play up to four notes at once. So it's great for pads and polyphonic kind of sounds. <laughs> Then you've got duo mode, which stacks two um, parts together, and each mode has a different voice mode depth. So for instance, in poly mode, it'll play different inversions. In duo mode, it'll be the detune. Same thing in unison mode as well. So we've got a nice lead sound here. You can really tune in that detune and the spread as thick as you want. Uh, you've got mono mode as well, which is great because that gives you access to a sub oscillator. So we can dial in another um, oscillator deep down as well. So bring in the sub now. Chord mode's really cool because that allows you to play just a single note and it'll play a chord of your choice using the voice mode depth. And of course I've got all my real time control so I can shape that sound in real time. Wanted to change chord, just change the voice mode depth. Major, sustain chords. You can even change it on the fly if you want to. So you've got a, ma a major chord, for instance. So you can get some really kind of musical things going using that mode as well. Delay mode allows you to just play a single uh, note or a bunch of notes and it will actually play those four oscillators in sequence at the time that you specify using the voice mode. So here we've got a percussion sound, some toms, and then I can choose the speed that it plays back, so quite slow. And it's actually telling me on the screen what the note value is as well, so that can easily sync to a tempo. You've got an arpeggiator mode as well. With different modes, so I can put it onto random for example. Or just straight up and down. Final mode you've got to work with is sidechain. So that allows you to um, use it like you would do sidechain in software. So I can um, play just a single note and then I can change how much the next note will come through 
Yeah. So at the moment it's allowing me to sustain the, the previous note, but I can adjust that to how much compression I want. So you get that kind of second note sucking through as you would do it with sidechain. Another great thing about the mini log is we have a delay unit built in. It's a digital delay, fully programmable, and it also has its own high pass filter as well, which is really cool. So if we've got this nice kind of clav sound. I can change things like the feedback, the time, but also I can change the routing. And again, on the screen, it shows me whether it's bypassed, whether it's pre-filter, which means I'm, I'm filtering just the delay or post-filter, where I can apply that neat high pass to the whole sound. Also got um, a new controller here. This is a pitch lever, uh, which by default is usually pitch, but often it'll be reassigned, and it's fully reassignable as well by you to any of these parameters. So for instance, here we've got a nice dubby kind of sound. Also, we've got a sequencer built in, so this is obviously very useful for making your own kind of patterns just on the fly. It's great as well because every single sound you come to of the 100 programs, uh, which are presets and 100 users, each one has its own pattern readily, readily programmed, which you can then just keep or you can change to your own needs. So for instance, on this trancey kind of one here, I can just press play or play back the pattern. If I want to overdub my own kind of um, notes into there, I just press play and then record and record. <laughs> Other cool thing is you can record four layers of automation as well, or motion record, or motion sequence as we call it. So that basically means I can change any of these controllers and it will record that into the sequence. So let's try that. That's now recorded that filter sweep, and you've got three other parameters which you can record on top of that as well. Talking about the controllers, they all fire out MIDI information, which is great. So if you're using it as a controller, it's really suited to that. And of course, if you're using it with your DAW via USB, you can then record all of this automation into there as well, and of course, get it to respond to that as well. Um, so that's the mini log. Um, great build quality. Everything feels really solid. We've got this beautiful wooden back to it. And um, I think this is going to be a very hot product, so go and check it out.